As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Chris Pollard live on the final show before the spring break hiatus where I go off to grow some potatoes. With it being such a special night here on Durham on Air, I have been hard at work making sure that we can go out with a metaphorical bang. But I can't proceed any further with the show without thanking just a few of our sponsors, which include toothpaste flavour chewing gum, Neil Warnock's new cookbook, Swearing at Salads. We have to thank our friends over at, the, over at the United Trust of Blind Swimming Pool Lifeguards. And we must thank the Ryan Gosling 4-in-1 Air Fryer. We are funded in port. In port? We are funded with large glasses of port. And also in part by the Google Chrome shoelace tying extension and the Oxford Dictionary of Misspelled Words. On the day where controversial new laws passed prohibiting members of the public from overly vibrant footwear and something happened in London but who cares about them on the day where I'm a celebrity get me out of here has been axed by ITV to make way for the new game show celebrity scrotum poking and a bowl of seedless red grapes managed an impressive eighth place in the Luxembourg stage of this year's Formula One season let's find out what's happening right now on tonight's program on tonight's program <laughs> On tonight's programme, we welcome to the couch the Archbishop of Willy Dribble, along with having a chat with our old pal, Renwick Dogsick. We will be lightly dancing over some delicate topics, and I will be selling my kidneys, liver and teeth to one lucky audience member tonight. We've got a lot of regular segments, and a couple that you've not heard for a while, but that's all to come later, right now. It's Johnny Thunders. You can give me this. After hearing news that your favourite radio mystic has finally been released from jail, you'll be compelled to send him £85 for a good deed that will lift you throughout your next week. £85. Taurus. Take caution while dicing any beef or chicken for your next curry. Gemini. Gemini. An outdoor surprise may await you after a long stay inside. A naked Gary Lineker drunkenly testing car handles. Car handle. Naked Lineker. Cancer. Hmm. Cancer. You may think it's funny watching your elderly neighbor repeatedly fall over while raking leaves, and that's because it is. Leo. Leo. Get yourself ready again for the true restaurant experience by cooking yourself a meal and then eating a 20 pound note with it. 20 pound note. Virgo. Virgo. Your mother's snoring will reverberate once again around the house like a two stroke engine with sleep up near. You must stay strong. She can legally go home again soon. And you can do that rude thing on your own. That rude thing. Welcome back to Chris Pollard Live. There he was, Psychic Keith, finally out of the nick for what I assume was just 
lying to people for a living as all astrology is it astronomy or astrology astrologists whatever if you are enjoying the show tonight or indeed if you're hating it tonight i'd love to hear from you it'll be the last time i hear from you for a few weeks uh, and the way to get in touch tonight will be tweet at Durham on air. You can text studio plus your message to 88802 or you can email studio at durhamonair.com. But if you've been listening to any of my shows, you already know that by now. I say it 30 times because I say it when I don't know what else to say. But coming up tonight, we have got Swap Shop. We've got the connection section. We've got a listing from the Live Active Crime Association. Uh, along with, uh, did I say community cork board? Community cork board. So we've got all the regulars are in tonight. All the regulars have come for a drink tonight, including my favourite alcoholic, the top five. Sorry, the top five. Top five places I want to visit during my time off. Number five, my uncle Darren's. Number four, outer space. Number three, a McDonald's drive through Number two, the windmills of your mind. And number one, Hartlepool. Chris Pollard live, the spring break finale. You've just heard history song by the good, the bad and the queen. And before the adverts, uh, you heard first it giveth by Queens of the Stone Age. From Songs for the Deaf, which is probably up there with one of the greatest rock albums of all time. And I'll argue with anyone who says otherwise. But one thing that is not subjective, that is very much objective fact is news, well not these days, but certainly sports news. Welcome to your sports headlines, Bibble Bibble Cribble Blibble. Sad news to bring you from the world of donkey gymnastics, so I'm not going to bother and make sure that you don't get upset. In the Gillette Pro Squash World Tournament, it was a close shave. (laughs) In the final, with the title being captured by Brian Mintfoam, beating Harry Chin by five sets to four. Other scores from that tournament include Razor 5 Blade 4, non pool Technology 2, Smoothest Finish Yet 4, Added Moisturizer 1, Better Than Competitors 3, which guide recommended nil. Also in the sports, we have crowned a new champion in the GWF World Heavyweight Division with young Scottish hotshot Tommy Bansaw clinching the fight in the fourth round, knocking out the previous champion, a cardboard cutout of Lenny Henry. In other news, there was a game of tennis between two small boys in Cheshire. In Champions League darts, here are last night's results, unfortunately only televised in South Korea or on one of them fire sticks my mate Cinquestro has at his mum's house. Your full-time scores on the night, The Slug 5, The Cling Film 7, The Dog Biscuit 0, The Carlisle Serial Killer 7, The Janitor 6, The Toilet Brush 6, in a thrilling draw that lasted over 25 seconds, Spam Man 4, Satan's Radish 7, Dr. Backcomb 0, Gyro Man 7, in a whitewash and finally in professional netflix scanning over 3,000 titles were scanned and passed by with no consideration at the mgm grand ballroom in glamorous benidorm the sport which is preparing a bid to be featured at the 2028 olympics requires a super breed of athlete that is said to be so cynical they can have access to over 200,000 hours of content and still act like there's nothing to watch on there the most unfazed scanner of the day's event was German participant Hellman Inconsequential, who looks to give Europe a big boost in the upcoming Intercontinental Channel Flick Masters. That's all the sports news we have here on Chris Pollard Live. Please, please, don't take my wife. Wow, another.
rather abrupt ending there, so let's just do time capsule, shall we? Wow. I need to start listening to the ends of these songs when I download them, you know? But welcome back to the show. You're listening to Britain's Number One. Chris Pollard. And I hope you're enjoying the show so far. It's the bit that no one enjoys, but we've got to get it over and done with before we can approach the community court board, and that is the time capsule. So what are going to be the last three things we place in the time capsule, possibly before I scrap the format altogether? Going into the time capsule this week. Come in. Going into the time capsule this week. Paul Pogba's street dance instructor. In you go, pal. Also going in, a urine-stained photo of a bus conductor. And lastly, a five-minute phone call from Paddy McGuinness about sweet corn. In that goes as well. Well, thank you for playing. Thank you for entertaining me on that one. When we come back, we're going to get a lot more community-focused. As we see some of the services that have been provided and that are available to you, the good listeners of County Durham and surrounding counties, as we visit the community court board. But not before we tell them all to go to hell. With Ezra Furman. Bye. You're all ever such Chris Pollard Live. It's a bit like playing backgammon in the garden in the naked, and your neighbour catches you watching and then watching and seeing your scrotum. The County Durham Community Court Board. Tell them all to go to hell by Ezra Furman and what we'd love to do with that county of them. Welcome to the Community Court Board, your virtual audio parish council community court board. Place your post-its all over me and maybe for the final time, prick me with various pins. First up, it's time to line up, line up and take part in Suspicious Rogers line dancing for the romantically deprived. Dance those broken hearts away in my patented secret dancing shed that has been described as both over-decorated and a serious safety hazard. For the mere price of either £10 an hour or the promise of a good snog afterwards, I will take you step by step into the intimate and lustual world of heel toe heel toe and make sure that when your local nightclub reopens, you can bet yourself and everyone on the dance floor uh, that everyone's going to be staring in awe of your newfound moves or your newfound open mouth kissing technique. Call now while my wife's at work. Next up, we have Susan Clifton's Rubbish Roger Moore Impression Service. Are you having a bad day at work, at home, or at the swimming baths? Let me ease you into fits of laughter with my genuinely heartfelt attempt at the X Bond heartthrob. This is the very same performance that had me ridiculed throughout childhood and adult life, so you can consider that proof of 100% satisfaction. Money back if I start crying, four quid a call. And we have Ned Rigsby's partial MOT service. Can you not afford the utterly shameful costs that MOTs now demand in an era when most of our working wage has to go towards feeding wild seabirds? I know I couldn't, and that's why I set up Rigsby's Mobile Partial MOT Centre. For a much cheaper service at £35, I will come directly to you and give the, your car the full inspection uh, that I can do with no tools. My services include tyre kick, tyre press down with shoe, engine stare, registration plate rating, dust cap replacement, confirmation bias, or door handle test, in brackets, Naked Gary Lineker Special. Ring up today and I'll pop down on the next bus. My driving license has unfortunately been revoked by the FBAIDEA. Pamper yourself this summer with Adam by Curious's Nappies for Active Adults. Feel nature press against your skin and then sort of smush about all over it when you sit down. Eight pounds each. And finally, if you're in need of horseradish, just go to the shops, there's loads. That's all we've got for the Community Coke Board. I hope that can be a service to you, your family, or your secret lover. Take care, here's Squid.
with Sludge. Libra, Libra, it's almost hay fever season, so why not avoid the struggle by spending another four months indoors? Four months indoors. Scorpio, Scorpio, Martin Scorsese will contact you with an offer to make a film based upon your life. Scorsese. His working title. The Sad Marks and Spencer's Canteen Employee. Canteen Employee. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Open a bottle of wine. Get your feet up for a bit. Relax. Don't worry about the future. For death approaches. Capricorn. Capricorn. Today you will be played like a fiddle. By a long list of TV chefs. Heston Blumenthal mainly. Aquarius. Aquarius. Are you ready to return to the fun fair? Really? Can you not remember what the last one was like? Hmm. Terrifying. And Pisces. Pisces. Why not get lost in an old DVD today? It's much better than having an old DVD lost in you. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Pubesack. Welcome back to Chris. Pa- oh! Welcome back to Chris Pollard Live. You've just heard Police Encounters by F F O by sorry. <clears throat> you just heard Police Encounters by F F S. And I hope you oh! and I hope you're having an enjoyable night wherever you are listening to County Durham's number one station. And that's oh no, missed that one. Oh. <laughs> On Carrie Durham's number one station, Durham On Air. Still to come tonight, on Durham On Air, we have got none other than the Zolt Seller with Alex Sweeney coming straight after this show. Oh! And then we're going to be following that up quite abruptly with Hot and Cool with Chris Coxon. Durham, oh! Durham On Air's hottest and coolest DJ. And still to come on your last... Oh! On your last Chris Pollard Live of spring, before spring break, we've got Industry Secrets, we've got Swap Shop. Uh, oh! And we're also going to be checking out some of the things I'll be watching on TV on Series Link. But that's all going to come later. Um, but when uh, we come back from this next song... <clears throat> oh! We're going to be doing something we haven't done in a while. But more information on that after King Giz and the Liz Wiz. Durham on air. Chris Pollard. Okey dokey, cokey, cokey. There was... There was King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard with Paper Mache Dream Balloon. What a, a, a dr- perfect name, what a dreamy little number that was. Floated along the top of that one like a trump. Um, yes, as aforementioned, uh, I mean, this has all come together very nicely because someone has just joined me because for the first time in a couple of months, now that the restrictions have eased a little more, I've been able to flex my muscles a bit to be able to get you a star guest in. That's right, folks. Let's play Celebrity Dentistry. Celebrity Dentistry With Dr. Chris Pollard Oh, 
Okay then. It's been a while since we've done this. So for those that are unfamiliar, welcome to the once reviled but always well styled celebrity dentistry, where I leave my personal back doors wide open for the A-listers to come pouring in by the handful, providing them with some meaningful dentistry work through my sort of dodgy dentistry certification to pay up and I'll be providing you with the chance of winning an incredible prize. What a combination of circumstance. All I need you to do tonight is when I am performing the surgery upon our celebrity, uh, I've asked them to give us just a couple of clues as to who they might be, maybe what they do for a living or, or, or things that we might remember them from. If you can guess correctly as to who our celebrity star is, you will be in with a chance to win this bag of crow vomit. Now, I do believe, believe that this possesses some mystic abilities and is highly sought after in the witchcraft community. That's what the bloke uh, who sold me it told me. But it really is starting to upset everyone in the apartment block with the smell and that. So tonight, I honourably part ways with it, hoping that one of you lucky listeners have the chance to, I don't know, revive a loved one or brutally curse an enemy to a fiery demise. That's what I was going to use it for. Anyway, I'm so sorry, mate. The celebrity's been sat here with my full fist in his mouth for the last three minutes. That must have been so uncomfortable. Sorry, mate. So I'm about to prepare the surgery. So as I used to do, uh, as tradition dictates, I stand up. Okay. Let me just get my tools around here. Okay, let's kill the uh, let's kill the music. So the listeners have got. Are you comfortable there? Yeah. Okay. Just so the listeners have got uh, a nice. Let me put this microphone down here. I'm ready to begin my surgery uh, now. Well, how you are? Introduce myself. Yeah! Ow! Well, I was looking for a little girl back in 1865. I was You alright, mate? It's alright. I was wrestling wild horses! <coughs> the wild horses, you say? I ruined the cowboy! Ruined the cowboy! And the dust kicking off my heels! I'm stealing a saloon so tired, so loud! It's a silky showdown! Okay, that's just about completes my treatment. Let me just. Yeah, that's brilliant. You've been a cracking patient there, mate. Okay, if you'd just like to get out of my office now, you've got a clean bill of health. Don't darken my door again with that breath. So if you had any idea who our... <coughs> oh, God, I've got a cough now. I hope you've not brought that in. We're so close to the finish line. If you've got any idea who that celebrity will be, we're going to be... Uh, Unraveling that mystery in the second half of tonight's programme and giving you the entrance a chance to win a bag of crow vomit for witchcraft purposes, of course. But that's all to come in the second half of the programme. It's time for a small break, but not advertisements, a good break, one with music in it. Here's Lamb with Lusty. Oh, I love the alliteration. See you in five. Chris Pollard Live, the prisoner of Asker Banter. to the second half of Chris Pollard Live. Well, it's the first time I spoke to you in the second half, so welcome to the first bit of the second half of the last Chris Pollard Live for a few weeks. You worked that one out. Yeah, you've just heard Lusty by Lamb, and before that you've heard Celebrity Dentistry, and there's still plenty of time to get your guesses and your answers in by texting studio plus your message to 88802. You can tweet at Durham on Air or indeed email studio at Durham on Air.com. Still to come in the second half of tonight's last 
time program for a bit. We've got the pube sack. Wait, sorry. We've got the pube sack. We've got some industry secrets. And we're also going to be playing Swap Shop, among other things. But that's all still to come before handing over to Alex Sweeney and the Soul Cellar. Oh, it's Thursday night. It feels good to be alive. When we come back after this short break, we'll do Pube Sack. See you in a few mins. Don't forget to take out your bins. Cube sack. Welcome to the Pube Sack. That's right, it's the public update by England's societies, associations and clubs, the Pube Sack. Pube Sack. And tonight on Pube Sack, once again, we provide you with those updates, newsletter notices and public postings by the many groups and hobbyist societies that may be of interest to you within the Pube Sack. Pube Sack. There has been an exciting change of secretary within the Stanhope Bacon Fat Cuttering Off Society. Pube and that's sack. all the updates from within the pube sack. We'll see you after spring break. Pube sack. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that Paul Rudd, Hollywood Megalodon, can only rouse himself out of bed in the morning? by listening to Chris Kamara's Christmas album, Snowdrops Falling on My Rubbish Tash. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that after losing all his earnings from Hollywood on the stock market, Batman Val Kilmer now earns his living punching beehives for various charities. Did you know? It's a noble cause. Did you know? Did you know that if you were to put any Red Hot Chili Peppers album in a microwave, the resultant explosion and fire will be more enjoyable than listening to it? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Oh, there's the music looping. It's always a sign of a good one. Did you know that if you... Uh, I've just done that one. Did you know? Did you know? Uh, sorry, I've got... Uh, trap gas. Did you know? Did you know? It is common knowledge that Tom Cruise always opts to do his own stunts because if any were to ever go dramatically wrong, at least he would finally be free of Scientology. Did you know? Did you know? Eh, did you know? Keith Lemon has a resting pH level of around 6.2, whereas a regular lemon sits at around 2. Did you know? So that was a nice coincidence, they both had two in. Did you know? On Hollywood film sets, 
If you hear a director shout, Strap up the camel! That means that one of the lighting technicians has won the jackpot on the scratch card. Did you know? Did you know? How you doing there, dude? Yes, 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 yes. You've just heard No Cigar by Malen Collin and Friends by Marginal Man. I just thought I should inject the show with four minutes of punk. Inject the show with four minutes of punk. P-U-N-K. Um, we've had a few entries in for Celebrity Dentistry this week where you, the good people of County Durham, have been in with a chance to win quite a magnificent bag of crow sick. I don't know if you can hear that. Bought it for quite a high price. Um, let's see what we've got in here. Ryan Longfingers has been in touch to say, is it Butch Cassidy or alternatively, is it the Sundance Kid? And I'm afraid it's a no to either of them. Debbie Faraday says, is it Brian Blessed? No. We had a text from Apricot Fantastic, and he, she, has guessed Ellen DeGeneres. Close but no cigar. And the last text we've got in here from Toby Carvery, he's guessed his uncle Eric. And I'm afraid that none of those are correct, so what I'm going to have to do is drink the crow stick instead. And hopefully, now have, oh, now have the power of a million crows. <laughs> and as punishment for no one getting it right, and not enough people even entering in the first place, I'm afraid I'm going to have to welcome you to your Chris Pollard Live Eye on Travel. Welcome to your Chris Pollard Live Eye on Travel. Measures are lifting, lockdown is fading, and our futures are brighter than ever. And while we can't get abroad as of yet, there's an increasingly large sea of possibility for your next getaway. So this week, Chris Pollard Live Eye on Travel recommends a visit to literally anywhere. Literally anywhere. It isn't your house, your family aren't there, and nobody knows who you are. Breathe it in and enjoy it. You survived. On second thoughts, it's still quite cold. Best just go home for another month or two. There was your Chris Pollard Live Eye on Travel. And I hope that provided you with a couple of suggestions for your next getaway. To the last Chris Pollard live before spring break, homies. There was Getaway by Dr. John, and before that, your first Chris Pollard live eye on travel since the last lockdown was announced, which feels like it happened in 1998. Uh, what I'd like to do now, we've still got Live Active Crime Association and Swap Shop to be getting on with, but first, I thought I'd leave you with a bit of series link because I'm very, very much looking forward to a very broad spectrum of televisual entertainment. And this is the part of the show where I just give you a little heads up what I'm watching 
so you can set your tape recorder. On tomorrow night, we have got a very stark and thought-provoking look at the state of our environment in David Attenborough's The Really, 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 Really Tired Dolphin. And to cleanse the palate afterwards, I expect nothing but good laughs and memorable times in the new Channel 5 quiz show, Celebrity Cottaging on Ice, with guest judge Leonard Nimoy. Trevor McDonald is back with a newsworthy bang on our screens on Saturday night as he plays girl number three on Babe Station Maximum from about one till four in the morning. And if you hang around till five, you may just catch a cheeky glimpse of comedian John Bishop in a tartan cod piece. And finally, film-wise, there's a fairly weak offering available to us uh, coming up, but do check iPlayer for your film fix because they've uploaded some real classics uploaded that are only available for 30 or so days. Personally, I would recommend Things I Lost at the Bowling Alley, Diary of an Electrician, Heartbreak in Wakefield, The Chewy Desk, Day of the Marzipan, Sharp Toenail Corner Infection Juice, and look out for the stunning Emma Watson as Kathy Burke in the crime thriller Long Polished Buffet Utensils. That's all the things I've got on Series Link. And when we come back, lacquer. Speaking of local, the Live Active Crime Association have released this most latest, recent, latest bulletin. Police and the very air we breathe have advised locals to stay calm as they investigate reports of mysterious clapping noises coming from your parents' bedroom at night. Local siblings have described the sound as both repetitive and squelchy. We are yet to obtain any video footage of this mystifying occurrence, but a special crack squad have been assembled to work round the clock to bring peace to the region. We are hearing from victims of the noise that not only did this begin as soon as Who Wants to Be a Millionaire had finished, but that many times the sound is paired with an unmistakable smell of repressed marital anger. If you hear this noise in your homes, people of Durham, we urge you not to enter the bedroom, but to leave the house immediately and throw a large rock or brick through the bedroom window, hopefully concussing the beast long enough for the police to enter the premises to perform further tests. People of County Durham, stay safe and stay alert. Say alert? Alert. Together we can save this earth. And more importantly, we can hopefully in the future feel safe in the city. Because there's a thousand things I want to say to you. <laughs> to the Chris Pollard Live Swap Shop where your possessions uh, get rid of someone's depressions? I don't know, but you know the drill. People have been chucking me the rubbish all week and I've been filing it away in one of those things you see on Storage Hunters. First up, Bobby Wrongdoing has been in touch throughout the night with this simply sensational offering. He has in his possession an extremely rare factory fault created one-of-a-kind bottle of stripe-free Aquafresh toothpaste. This is like no other Aquafresh before it, he writes. And what makes the item even more unique is the factory made so much of an error they've even put it in an Oral-B advanced whitening bottle as well. The rarity of this misfire cannot be overstated. In return for this life-changing item, all I ask is a, for a summertime property in Costa Rica or alternatively two weeks lease on the whole of Puerto Rico. Next up, hi, I'm Mark Stapleton. I'm 47 from Newton Acliffe, and I'm coming to Swap Shop today with a three kilogram bag of various interesting fabric dinosaurs. These can be used to educate, to entertain, or to chastise in private when your mum tells you off. 
In return for this bumper collection, I am looking for any tips on how to untie my shoelaces. Next up, Lady Jane Springbush here with my magnificent magnetic vegetables. Why fill up the inside of your fridge when there is so much unutilized space on the front? I have harvested this most recent crop of spuds, toms, onions, carrots and celery to have the same magnetic capabilities as top grade military computer wiping equipment or the same magnets you would find in the chassis of a US stealth bomber. Please be warned these vegetables cannot be placed near any phone or computer device so please no carrots down trousers to impress the girls unless you want your angry birds progress deleting. In return for my mystifying vegetation, I would like any brass rubbings that depict religious leaders in uncompromising public toilet situations or any communistic representations of the Coronation Street alumni. Our next listing is from Chops Bradshaw, who is looking far and wide for any instructions on how to start an avalanche in Middlesbrough. I want them under the powder, he adds, and in return he will be looking to swap his copy of Judge Rinder Reloaded for the PS2. Next up is Diane Q, who is the owner of County Durham's largest singe hinge collection. She is looking to part ways with an assorted pack of 70 singed hinges that she has rescued from various unsolved school burnings across Cumbria. These have nearly cost me my life to retrieve, she has written, and in return I want something right proper and big, like a new garage or a big table or some diseased seasonings. And our last lot is from Paul Cornish, who is looking to swap the gross domestic product of Serbia in return for a few choice words with his mother. Let's make that happen. Get in touch. I'll be back after an old favourite. Chris Pollard Live. This is the sound of the future. This is the revolution. This is the manner. <laughs> Old friends, we've reached this point again where I must bid you a farewell. And it's not just a six-day farewell like it normally is. I'm going to be gone for a few weeks while I work on something quite secret. <laughs> and I look forward to revealing those details later. But I'm going to be back with a bang. But coming up right next, you're going to be left in more than capable hands with the God of Soul. Alex Sweeney, and then Chris Coxon's taking over with Hot and Cool. You know the drill by now. It's a fantastic evening of entertainment once I'm finished with you. But yes, I'm going to miss you all ever so much. Ever, ever so much. But things, uh, things must be done. And when we come back, hopefully we'll be refreshed, feeling better. And hopefully those shoes will fit that you bought me, because I do like them. But they're just a bit tight around the sides, you know? <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I wonder when was the last time we had a break, like January? It's been a pleasure the last few months. And this week's shows will be on the Chris Pollard Live Compressed. If you want to check out any of the old shows, if you feel like there's going to be a void in your heart, check out guppydream.com. That's my website with all the stuff on it. But don't do that until you've finish listening to tonight's entertainment here on Durham on Air. But until a few weeks time, I'm not sure, whatever. I'll catch you later. Bye bye. Hit my music. <laughs> <laughs>